In the Peaky Blinders season 6 finale, Tommy Shelby is about to commit suicide when he has a vision of his deceased daughter, Ruby, telling him to live. But was Ruby's ghost real? Did Mosley and Diana kill Ruby? Keep watching the video to find out. Peaky Blinders 6 season marks the end of the series, but the Shelby story will be continued in a forthcoming film. Because of Ruby's insight, it's likely that Tommy will return for the movie to combat the rise of fascism due to their unresolved business with Oswald Mosley. Tommy's doctor tells him that he has tuberculoma and only has, at most, 18 months to live in Peaky Blinders Season 6. The medical professional believes that Tommy most likely caught the disease from Ruby's fatal tuberculosis. After finishing his business with Michael Gray, Tommy withdraws and considers suicide. However, a vision of Ruby tells him to light his campfire so that it'll demonstrate to him that he must live. He spots Tommy's doctor, Dr. Michael Halford, in a photo from Oswald Mosley's wedding while lighting a newspaper for the fire. In the past, Tommy has seen both his ex-wife Grace and people he has killed. Tommy seems to have thought that these visions were related to his curse, but Ruby's vision turns out to be more of a blessing. Tommy's vision of Ruby in the Peaky Blinders finale differs from his other visions in that she tells him vital information that he had not conjure up in his imagination. While it's possible that Tommy had the vision while drunk, it's still the most concrete evidence that ghosts exist in Peaky Blinders. Ruby also has a supernatural connection. She heard the voice of the Grey Man, who was on her and Tommy's tail. Halford resembles Ruby's Grey Man, proving that her wisdom came from an otherworldly force. Tommy's vision could be the result of the alcohol he drank during his isolation. He has a bottle in his hand when he wakes up in the hills. He had visions while under the influence of opium in previous seasons of Peaky Blinders. However, these visions were frequently of his time in the war, implying that PTSD is the underlying cause. His vision of Ruby may also be inspired by an underlying will to live, a sense that he will not be able to stop until he has defeated Mosley, Diana Mitford, and Jack Nelson in their plans to spread fascism through Europe and America. Despite this, Ruby assures him that he is not ill, and that something in the fire proves it. Tommy is incapable of understanding this. This is the most conclusive proof that ghosts exist in Peaky Blinders. Previously, the ghost of Grace encouraged Tommy to commit suicide, but this was something he had already considered and thus was not new information, as was the case with Ruby. Ruby has a second sight just like Polygray. She has many visions and accurately predicts the future, implying that she possesses supernatural foresight. Hulford appears in both scenes wearing a gray suit and his eyes are green, matching Ruby's description of the gray man with green eyes. Furthermore, Ruby says that Romani words tic na mora o being in Peaky Blinders Season 6 Episode 1. Bang roughly translates to supernatural being or devil. Halford could also be the devil Ruby mentioned, who, as she predicted, would come for Tommy. Ruby's demonstration of this ability implies that she may also be able to communicate with the living, lending credence to the theory that Tommy's vision is real. Although Tommy has previously sensed ghosts in Peaky Blinders, Ruby should be considered his guardian angel. Peaky Blinders Season 6 has been the most invested in symbolism since the first episode, and its more overt exploration of supernatural issues is a refreshing change of pace for Thomas Shelby, who is otherwise cynical. Through all of his trauma, Tommy's faith in God may have been shaken, but the Peaky Blinders finale reaffirms Tommy's faith not only in himself as a near-immortal figure, but also in his methods. Does Thomas Shelby Die in Season 6? Despite Peaky Blinders Season 6 foreshadowing Tommy Shelby's death following his fatal tuberculoma diagnosis, the finale defined the tone of the entire show to reveal a twist completely reversing his story. Tommy's doctor, Dr. Halford, was revealed to be an Oswald Mosley follower who was paid to convince Tommy of his impending death in order to persuade him to commit suicide. The plan was inspired until Tommy discovered the truth. Given Tommy's struggles with suicidal thoughts, including Grace calling him home at the very end of Peaky Blinders Season 5. What isn't clear is why Mosley changed his mind and apparently asked Jack Nelson to kill Tommy on his trip to Canada if the bogus tuberculoma plan was already in place. In the end, neither mattered because Tommy was already aware of Nelson's scheme and learned the truth about his doctor's identity from a newspaper clipping from Mosley's own wedding. How did Tommy discover the plot against him and Billy's betrayal? In Peaky Blinders Season 6, the question of why Tommy Shelby had failed to deal with Billy the Black Cat IRA informant was particularly pervasive. The unresolved plot thread was the first hint of a finale twist involving Billy's fate, but with Tommy seemingly losing his grip on reality and his business, a blind spot made sense. But as usual, Tommy was one step ahead of his adversaries and appeared to have known the truth about Billy all along. 
That would explain why Arthur made Billy kill the football referee as a punishment rather than a test of loyalty and condemn him to hell. It's unclear how Tommy discovered the truth, but the Shelby's increasing ostracization of Vince Shelby throughout Season 6 suggests the informer was discovered through a process of elimination. Billy was an unknown element, and Finn had fallen behind Isaiah in the Shelby pecking order so early in Season 6. It was clear Tommy knew he'd revealed a plan to assassinate Mosley. The football betting scam was both a distraction and a lucrative business opportunity, diverting the informant and his unwitting handler's attention away from important matters. What did Tommy say to Duke at the Shelby banquet? During Tommy's final supper, he gathers the Shelby family to pass on his final instructions for the businesses and family's ongoing welfare, seemingly dividing his roles among those left behind when he dies. Intriguingly, he keeps his instructions to his first son Duke, Conrad Khan, a secret, whispering them into his ear during a particularly charged scene. Given Duke's story in Peaky Blinders Season 6, Tommy appears to be grooming his son to be his true heir, not to the Shelby empire and wealth, but to his role as the family's shadier power broker. Regardless of how recently they met, this is Tommy anointing Duke as his favorite child in Ruby's absence, at least in Charlie's opinion, whose legitimacy as Tommy's righteous son dictates Tommy's unwillingness to allow him to be corrupted. This could lead to future conflict. Duke is more like him and better suited to succeeding him, and the fact that he whispers to him is more important than what he actually says. The end of Peaky Blinders sets up two family conflicts. Though the Shelby's final group seen in Peaky Blinders finale sees the majority of the family reunited and Tommy laying out a path for a hopeful future, the family is broken at the end of Season 6. Finn Shelby is missing from the table, having attempted to shoot Duke during Billy's murder and subsequent expulsion from the Shelby family. His vow of vengeance against his nephew foreshadows a future in which the Shelby family will be at odds in a far more pronounced way than Michael's exile and American death. There's also a potential conflict between Duke and Tommy's other son, Charlie, who are portrayed as opposing sides of Tommy's personality. While Charlie left with his mother in the finale, Tommy's treatment of him has already instilled resentment in him, and the connection between Duke and Tommy could easily become a source of contention. Will Tommy return to crime after Peaky Blinders' final shot? The final moments of Peaky Blinders Season 6 indicates that Tommy is finally free. His criminal empire is in the hands of his son and Arthur, and despite questions about his sanity in the aftermath of Tommy's death, his legitimate business is flourishing well after his deals with Alfie Solomons in the housing department, and his political career has come to an end. With Ada lined up to take his seat, he could leave his entire life behind at this point, but Tommy hinted to Arthur in the Peaky Blinders finale that he's now motivated primarily by doing good. His agreement to build affordable housing put his social obligations where so he claimed about wealth, and his opposition to Mosley and the fascist had long been a matter of principle. Is Tommy destined to become an underground Avenger in the future? Could he collaborate with Churchill more closely? Could Hitler's invasion of Europe entice him back to the battlefields of France? As Tom Hardy's Alfie Solomons teased in the final episode of Peaky Blinders Episode 6, being dead has its advantages, and it appears that Tommy will reap them. The symbolism of him watching his own funeral pyre at the end reinforced the idea that he was free of his ghosts, and his murder of Michael put an end to his fear of police judgment and the realization of her chilling prediction about their war. In Episode 5, Tommy admitted that his true vice was a desire for power and that his rise in society was nothing more than another path to evil, albeit one populated with even worse villains. Given Mosley's attempted murder and the pain he and Diana cost Lizzie, it appears unlikely that he will be able to move on from his past. Furthermore, the hint that Arthur might kill himself to join his brothers would almost certainly lead to Tommy revealing his survival to him. Despite this, Tommy may see the short-term benefit of adopting Alfie Solomon's plan to remain dead when Peaky Blinders returns for its true film finale. And that's all for today's video. Please share your thoughts in this video in the comments below. Want to know more things about the Peaky Blinders or Thomas Shelby? Please subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content and latest updates. See you in the next one.